Enough with the Liverpool possibilities. Let's get back to some real players, shall we? Mattia Vitti is a teammate currently of Thuram, 20-year-old uh, Italian right now, no caps, no nothing, uh, but contracted to Nice for 8.6 million, 26 million rated, to, uh, making 10.25k per week and as a squad player. Now, if you look at his numbers, some of the numbers look fantastic for a center back. 14 tackling, 13 is marking and passing, definitely heading in the right direction, 14 heading. Uh, you really, I, again, I like to see greens. I think I'm probably trying for too much when I'm looking at a Liverpool, Manchester City, Real Madrid, Barcelona type of player. I want the greens there. I want the 16s and above. But a 14 tackling is still pretty dang good. Uh, some mentals, mentals are not too bad. 14 work rate is great. T, uh, teamwork of 14 also. Acceleration and pace could be a little bit higher. Fitness of 15 is fantastic, but I would love to see these numbers grow. Uh, but at 20 years old, again, he's got room to do it. So right now, career milestones, he's made a senior club debut for Empoli, which was his first club. 22 appearances, just moved to Nice, so he's not going to be moving right now. But I do want to see where he ends up in the next 10 years. So let's just skip ahead. Well, it is the end of the 2033 season and he is 31 years old. You can see he is at PSG right now. He did make his way through Monaco and Chelsea, though. We'll get to that in a minute. Just moved to PSG this past season. Uh, and yeah, he's looking pretty nice. Passing a 15, tackling a 15s are great. Heading of 16 is fantastic. Uh, acceleration of 13, but pace of 16. So he has brought up these numbers quite a bit. Rated right now 14 million to 42 million, 52K per week. That's it. As a 31-year-old player, squad player, uh, I mean, he he didn't really do much this season, did he? Five appearances, 7-3 hour average rating, so he did really well when he played, but five appearances. That seems a little odd. But if we look at his career stats, first off, you can see he moved from Empoli to Nice for $11.75 million, then to Chelsea for $29 million, loaned out to uh, AS Monaco for $1.6 million that season, and then back to Chelsea, and then off to PSG for $27.5 million. Honestly, he hasn't really been expensive at all, uh, but he's still been playing fairly well. But PSG, five appearances. Chelsea, four appearances. I don't know what happened during this time. 20 right there. I mean, I would, I would say injuries. You have nine appearances, 13. But he's still doing fairly well. I mean, 6-9-3 is not really all that bad. It's not exactly you know, what you want for tops of the league, uh, year in, year out, but still 714 at, at knees, 710. So he's looking pretty nice. I just don't know what's going on just yet. If we look at the injuries, the first thing I think of, uh, when I see lack of playing time, but I mean, there's a lot of moderates, uh, one major out for five weeks. So that's not great. That was last year, but overall, I mean, he doesn't have a whole lot of them, but eight days, four weeks. So he's got some here and there. Uh, I, I don't know why he's missing so much game time. Maybe he just doesn't have the confidence of the coach, but who knows? Lots of things could be, you know, hampering all that time uh, and kept him on the bench or even off the bench, but still, you know, injury wise, it doesn't seem like it's a massive concern, but there are some pieces. But if he does come down with an injury or something uh, that will keep him off the, the pitch for a little while, it could be good. It could be bad. You never know. So milestone-wise, it does not look like he's got anything to his own name, but scored his senior club debut for Nice, uh, bought by Chelsea, a lot of inducted in the you know best 11s, first international cap against Peru at age 28, Champions League winners with Chelsea, uh, then off to Monaco, and then bought by PSG and League One Conferama champion. So he's got a couple of trophies, uh, big trophies at that. However, he doesn't look like he's played a huge part in them. Uh, especially five appearances this season, but still. He does have two caps to his name. Unfortunately, I'm going to guess he doesn't really get a lot more. Wants to win a trophy and is excited at the team's chances in the FIFA Club World Cup. So we'll have to see what happens with that. I did quickly look at the tactics. I was going to show you that, but he's only got nine appearances this entire season, uh, and they were all at center back. 
as you can see he you know he has brought it up on that right side a little i guess but it's not natural so i'm not even going to worry about it you know overall in his biography joined chelsea for 23 uh two winners medals that he's got champions league and the league one conferama and that is it so we're just going to skip straight ahead to the end of his career and see when and where he ends up well 2038 is when he retires he's 36 years old uh, not as old as some of the players that we've had, but he's still kind of moving on there. So as you can see, if we go straight to his career stats, he moved from PSG, he got the 30.5 million, moved off to Porto for 24 million, and then Shakhtar for one. So you can see PSG, he just didn't play all that well, all that much at least. He played fine when he played 18 the season after we just left him, but 26 for Porto, then 37 for nil. I mean, overall, still great, but what is this 11? And then, you know, at Shakhtar, he's only playing eight. So, but he is no longer in the database after this season. So this is when he retires. Wants to feature more in the first team. I mean, 20, rated 20K to 60K, 38K per week as a squad player. His acceleration is abysmal. Uh, his tacticals and mentals haven't changed much. So they still look pretty nice. Technique has gone up. But 15 caps overall, two goals. I wonder if they actually won the World Cup. You can see they did not. Ukraine won it in 2034. I swear, FM does some funky stuff when it comes to the World Cup and all of these things. But uh, currently they are in the middle of Group B on the 2038 FIFA World Cup in South Africa. Milestone wise, you can see he's had a pretty good career. I mean, he's got a bunch more trophies in the, the cabinet. Uh, Shakhtar champions, champions for Porto, so a couple more trophies for Porto. Still no personal accolades whatsoever. Uh, but, I mean, overall, still, the amount of trophies that this guy has in his cabinet are a lot more than a lot of players that we've already covered. Uh, but, you know, what are you going to do? So, injury-wise, he has definitely gotten a lot more injuries. This is the last, or these are the last ones right here. Uh, twisted knee right there. But, still, moderates, minor slights. Uh, another major out for two months with a hip injury. So, that's not good. But, yeah, his body is just failing him. And, yeah, this is where he calls it quits. Tactically, he's played, I mean, all his games are in center back. He has played on the left as a fullback. Uh, he's actually gotten that as awkward instead of makeshift, but he does have makeshift on the left and right on the midfield line as well. Uh, so, I mean, I guess you can try retraining him, doing a couple things like that. But center back is where he is, and center back is where he will stay and retire as pretty much. But overall... Honestly, I think, I mean, he looks pretty good. Definitely, I mean, I always say this, but one to scout. I think his potential is somewhere like around 160, 161. So he could definitely grow to be a pretty good beast uh, if you nurture him and give him some game time and all of that. And he stays uninjured. But that is it for the career of Mattia Viti. I am Sefian FM for the Football Manager Blog Channel saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy.